everybody, this is Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com and I'm back. And today I brought my 1990s uh, Fender Japanese uh, Telecaster. And uh, this is actually the uh, the Photo Flame Edition where it's actually pretty much a fake top, but in the 90s it was pretty cool because it was something that was new that was coming out. So this is actually, in a sense, like a photo that they actually put underneath the guitar itself and then uh, clear coat it. And uh, the neck's done as well, you can kind of tell uh, with the headstock right here. And uh, this is uh, this has been somewhat modified. Um, this is pretty much a 62 uh, reissue, so it has a pretty medium to slim tapered neck. Um, but this particular one's been a little bit modified. I thought it'd be fun to bring it in and show you what different pickups can do. All right, now I'm going to get into the pickup controls on this particular Telecaster. So let's check that out right now. Uh, this is pretty much set up uh, as if you think about it, uh, pretty much like a like a Stratocaster. So I've got three pickups. We've got the slant, which the Telecaster usually has. But this one we've actually, uh, on this model, uh, I've put in a uh, Fender, or a Seymour Duncan, sorry, Seymour Duncan uh, Hot Rails pickup. So that's pretty much a mini humbucker that's fit into the middle. And we've got a, a stock pickup right here in the neck just for a little bit more of a natural smooth tone. Uh, the cool part right here is actually on my selector switch. Uh, if you look right here, this is actually a five-way selector switch. And this has been reversed. Um, I like actually having the master volume right here so I can do uh, like pinky swells when I'm playing. And that way my tone's right here. But with the five-way selector switch, it gives me a ton of different uh, array of options. So if, uh, right here, our back uh, selector is just going to select the, uh, the first bridge position pickup. And our number two selector is going to select both of these, so the, the bridge in the middle. And then uh, our third position is literally just going to be the hot rails pickup in the middle. And so on. We'll move on to the second position. And that's going to be uh, these two pickups, our middle and our neck. And then all the way forward, that's going to be our neck position. Um, one thing that's really nice on this modified Telecaster that I've got is this actually has what's called a push-pull pot. So uh, the way it's hooked up is you can actually split the pickups. So for the one in the middle, which is our mini humbucker, we can actually make that a single coil if we want to. So literally all you have to do is pull that tone knob up and it actually splits the pickup into a single coil to give you tons of different arrays of sound. So check out the actual photo uh, flame finish that's going to be on the neck too. You can see that right there. It actually has a flame to it going all the way up the neck. Um, get that in there. Yeah, there you go. You can definitely see that shot right there. It's done on the body, but mainly the neck has the big flame to it. You know, this one, uh, this one's been through some shows, so it's got a few, a little bit of cracking to it, but most of them you can find them in mint condition really easily. Um, but the flame definitely gives it a really cool, you know, really cool, uh, high buffed look. And then, uh, you know, there's the body right there too. You can check that out. This guitar is a Japanese made guitar. Uh, some of my favorite fenders are Japanese. Um, obviously, you know, you've got the Squires and you've got your Mexican made ones and then the Japanese and then the Americans. Um, I like the feel of the Japanese. It's, they tend to be very buttery. Um, I like their finishes a lot better. And um, this particular one too uh, has been modified with some Spurzel tuners. So if you're familiar with the Spurzel tuners, they actually have a locking wheel in the back. And uh, it's just nice. It's going to stay in tune longer and is. As long as you're running the uh, the Spurzel tuners, you always want to um, uh, lube up the nut too. You can always get like a graphite, um, you know, nut lube, and that's just going to make your string bending a little bit easier. Uh, and if you want to do alternate tunings between sets or just in general alternate tunings, it's a much smarter way to go. So now I'm just going to give you a few quick samples of actually how the pickups are going to sound. So right now we're actually going to just keep it on the bridge position, which is all the way back uh, uh, for my uh, guitar that I've got here, and that's just going to be our uh, bridge pickup. So let's check that out right now. I'm pretty much going to say the, play the same riff so you can hear the difference. But I'm just going to go through them pretty quickly so you can actually hear the differences of how many sounds I can get out of this Telecaster. So now we're just on the bridge pickup. Now we're actually going to use both pickups. So we're going to, we're going to move, uh, move it up. And now we're going to be on the bridge and the middle position. So it's going to give us a little bit more chunk. But you, you hear it. It's a different tone. Actually, just move it right into the, the middle position, which is just going to be the, the the Seymour Duncan Hot Rails right in the middle. So now check that out. So that's pretty cool. It's definitely going to give you a little bit more of a, a girthy tone and, and a little bit a uh, little bit heavier in the front mix. And now we'll take it down a little bit. And now we're going to blend our stock pickup from a Stratocaster with the uh, the middle Hot Rails. So let's try that now. Same riff one more time, but just in the actual stock strap uh, pickup that's going to be right in the neck. So let's check that out. So 
those are our five uh, selections right there that we can do with the three pickups that I've got on this guitar. But one thing, one more thing I want to show you uh, before we end this is uh, I want to go back to the middle position, which is just going to be our uh, Seymour Duncan Hot Rails pickup. And uh, what I'm pretty much going to do now is pull up on the pot, which is what we talked about earlier, which is a push-pull pot. So this will actually split the pickup into a single coil again. So um, I'm actually going to put it back down again so you can hear it as a full humbucker. And then uh, and I'll switch it up, so check it out. Now we're actually going to pull up on it and split that pickup right into a single coil again. So hear the difference. So remember, that's actually the exact same pickup. I'm not using any other pickups in this series. I've got the switched. Uh, right in the middle position on our uh, Seymour Duncan Hot Rails pickup. And I uh, pretty much just want to show you uh, something that's pretty cool you can do with a, with a split uh, split uh, shaft. So uh, definitely uh, one of my favorite guitars and definitely it's going to give you a lot of array of tones. And today I'm actually using uh, my vintage uh, Fender Bandmaster. Uh, it's a 65 blackface and I'm using my uh, 63 reissue reverb tank. So I'm going to pretty much play out of my favorite position right now, which is going to be technically the second position, which is going to be our Hot Rails in the middle and our Stock Strat uh, pickup in the neck. So I'm going to play, play something real short so you can actually hear that. This has been Jason Lee with nextlevelguitar.com. Make sure to check out the website and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.